What's up and welcome to Chris of Emory Animation. I'm Chris and today I wanted to show you my workflow between the iPad animation app ToonSquid and After Effects. Some people ask me why even export from ToonSquid and not simply keep everything there. But the short answer is, as amazing as it is being able to animate on iPad from the couch, the small screen and lack of power is not very efficient when it comes to handling big complex compositions with countless layers, effects, sounds and all of that. So in short, what I'm going to show today is exporting the bouncing ball animation we did on my basic tutorial and import it into After Effects on my PC. Let's go! Alright, so inside ToonSquid on my iPad, I'm opening up the right project, which in my case is the bouncing ball. I just quickly check the loop so everything looks fine. And uh, since we're going to import this animation into art made in other software, we want the animation exported with transparent background. So I hide the background by unchecking the eye icon. Right before export, I just want you to be aware of the FPS on your animation because we are going to need to tell After Effects manually at what speed to play the animation. In my case, it's 12 FPS and now we are ready to export by hitting actions in the top menu bar and select selecting export. From there we have a bunch of export options, we want an image sequence and we want file type to be PNG. Since we hit the background we see the typical transparent texture which is exactly what we want. If I were to just select JPEG instead, background would be shown in white and the whole animation would be rendered with this square shape background. But we don't want that so back to PNG we go. Range set on all scenes first frame on 1 and last frame on 13. We can double check the images in our sequence by dragging the slider. Everything looks fine to me so I hit export. ToonSquid is going to save a zip file containing the sequence and you should save it somewhere so you can get hold of it on your computer. In my case I have Dropbox set up but you can of course email it to yourself or whatever works for you. Now it's time to hit the PC. So I've navigated to where the sequence is saved and uh, it's a zip file like we talked about and I extract it and open up the folder and just see how all the uh, 13 PNG sequence images is uh, saved within that folder. So if we go into After Effects you might have some background prepared or whatever project you work on. In my case I have this cabin that I do my uh, animations in. So let's let's say you have like art made in Photoshop or whatever. What I want to do now is to import the sequence so I double click within project, I go to the folder where the uh, animation is and I uh, select one of the images and I make sure PNG sequence option is checked and I hit import. Now, now we get this little sequence here and we can drag it into After Effects but if we look into the options here we see that it's set on 30 FPS. And if you remember, we checked within ToonSquid that our, at least in my case, my animation is supposed to be played on 12 FPS. So to in order to change that, I right click and I go interpret footage main and assume this frame rate 12. Okay. So now this is a 12 FPS sequence and I drag it into my composition. Boom. And here it is. It's a little bit small right now, so I'm just making it bigger. And uh, as you can see, we have the transparent background play just to see that it works. It does work. It does not loop though. Let's uh, let's make it looping within After Effects. This is like a, a little extra, extra tutorial within the tutorial. Uh, in order to make the sequence loop, we uh, right click on the sequence in the timeline. We hit time, enable time remapping. We hold alt and click the time remap stopwatch. We write loop out cycle, just like that. With that little code there, we can drag this out in the timeline for as long as we want. And now we have this bouncing ball exported from ToonSquid, imported into After Effects in our composition, just like we want it. Mission accomplished. This is how often how I bring life to my backgrounds with some looping objects in, in the background or whatever. And sometimes it's animated in ToonSquid, exported just like, like how we did right now. And uh, yep. 
so uh, I hope this tutorial helps someone out there thank you so much for watching let me know your thoughts in the comments and uh, see you next time